people often ask, uh, you know, even in the U.S. for that matter, when the, um, you know, the Apollo program or the Pioneer program were happening, uh, people used to ask NASA, how is it going to help us, right? Um, so the thing is, the answer is obviously very kind of, um, you know, multifaceted. Um, one is that there are a lot of things which have come into common, you know, usage, for instance, like um, uh, Walkman or uh, sports shoes, for instance, uh, ear earpods and phones, for instance. You know, these are all things uh, which were at some point or the other actually developed for space programs, right? And they uh, eventually kind of came into society and, you know, we all of us use it these days. But more importantly, what we are trying to, uh, you know, get across to is this frontier of human understanding. And uh, what we are trying to get across is um, the, the fundamental knowledge about uh, things that are around us in terms of celestial systems. Um, so the reason why the um, importance of finding water, for instance, on the moon uh, or on Mars or on exoplanets um, and life for that matter uh, is to look at a manner in which we can look at comprehensively this future of humanity, right, uh, where we are um, aware of the dynamics in the, our environment itself, uh, which could lead to various possibilities, right? So people often say that the moon and Mars had very different kind of terrains and different kind of uh, geologies for geological structures for that matter, uh, in a manner of speaking, um, what happened, right, from there on? Can, can we find any insights for that matter from that? Uh, can we find any resources for that matter from, from these celestial bodies, right? So uh, talking about Chandrayaan-3 and Aditya L1, uh, I think uh, in the last one or two months, I think ISRO has really, um, you know, made such a mark that uh, everyone from NASA to, you know, Roscosmos to uh, the EU um, are, well, pleasantly surprised, I would say, in a manner of speaking, because Chandrayaan-3, as you may know and our viewers may know, uh, is the first mission to have landed on the south pole of the moon. Uh, it has a certain kind of uh, results that it has already sent us, um, which are relating to the thermal conductivity studies. Um, so it has been seen that there is a difference in temperature of the top soil and the subsoil of the uh, lunar surface um, on, on the, on the south, in the south pole. Uh, there has also been work on finding sulfur uh, and various other kind of elements or, or chemical substances um, which are present in the lunar surface itself. And uh, we also have had seismic and plasma measurements from um, uh, what are known as the ILSA and Rambha payloads on the Chandrayaan-3. Um, and so we have had a lot of, the, you know, um, uh, uh, achievements of sorts in this particular program. And the good thing about this is that we have done it at a very economical, in a very economical manner. Um, you know, we have about uh, 73, uh, 75 million dollars uh, is what, you know, we uh, speak about. Uh, whereas the Roscosmos uh, Luna 25 mission uh, was more than twice that amount. And unfortunately, that failed. Um, what we in India have done is, is also exemplary because we have learned from our mistakes in Chandrayaan 2, which unfortunately did not go successfully. Uh, we have also tried to see how Chandrayaan 2 and Chandrayaan 3 can work together, right? So the orbiter of Chandrayaan 2, for instance, has a contingent link uh, to the Indian deep space network on the ground, uh, which can help with in terms of communication for Chandrayaan 3. So that's that's a very important development of comprehensive uh, space missions that we can kind of develop as a country. And it, it helps in boosting the center's plan to spur investments in this area, because as you may know, we have had a, a certain program by the name of InSpace, uh, which looks at how to bring in private players into the space technology realm, uh, by, which has been a recent initiative by the government of India. Um, speaking of Aditya L1, we have some very important uh, you know, insights we expect from it. Um, one is that you have this thing called coronal mass ejection um, and certain kinds of solar storms which can uh, interfere with the electromagnetic grid, electromagnetic field and uh, the, 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 you know, the magnetic field around the Earth. And in 1869, there was an event by the name of the Carrington event, uh, which was a major event that happened in the West. Uh, and so we want to kind of know about what all is happening in such events and what can be done uh, to prevent the effects, the ill effects of that. Uh, and particularly, I want to highlight that the Aditya L1 mission is unique because it wants to study the acceleration regime of coronal mass ejection, which has not been conclusively proven till now. So that is something very new, um, which we want to kind of prove as part of this mission. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net.